you have said that the COVID pandemic possibly had meteorite origin, which can be traced back to October 11, 2019, when a life-bearing carbonaceous meteor struck China. That's, that's quite a claim to that's make. Right. Make your case. You can imagine a, a cometary incubator or a, a, a rogue life-bearing planet uh, that makes contact with another potential uh, celestial body. And this is a congenial, you know, a congenial place. There's a bit of water there and there's other things on this body. And then, you know, the organisms in that uh, cometary incubator or the planetoid have got to have got to adapt or die, right? So it's Darwinian in that sense. You've got to adapt or die, but the, uh, it has to be rapid adaptation. It can't take millions of years as we want in the uh, Darwinian evolution. It has to be very rapid getting to the grips with the environment that that organism or virus is in to adapt and grow and replicate. Okay, so that's why... So we went through all of that and all of that evidence. And then what happened? We, we just put the final touches to that paper. It was out and published in about July 2019 and finally appeared in, in press. Here we were in mid-January 2020 looking at all these amazing video clips coming out of China. Something was going on, all right, and we knew from all our previous work, Chandra knew in his bone, but I did too because I was so, I was familiar with all of Chandra's evidence and all of the other stuff and all the opposing arguments. And uh, we said, Chandra, we looked at each other. I can remember distinctly the Skype discussion. We looked at it, uh, Chandra, I said, it had to be a meteorite strike somewhere near China, didn't it? And yeah, we both agreed it had to be. It just had to be, had to be a carbonaceous meteorite strike, you know, one of these fragments from a... Uh, a cometary incubator. 